Let the SmackDown begin! Rob Deerdick for sure, that voice. But when a problem comes along, you must whip it. But when that cream sits out too long, you must whip it. When something's going wrong, you must whip it. <laughs> now whip it. Time to make your final guesses. Whose famous face is about to be unmasked? Well, first of all, Ice Cream, great job. You had amazing energy. I loved your charisma. I loved everything that you presented about this. Judging from what I was saying before in the clue package, you know, I, I think you are a digital star. I think you are a YouTuber. I think it's Pootie Pie. I think it's Pootie Pie. Pootie Pie's a good guess, actually. My so. son watches that. All right, Nicole. I was getting the DJ vibes with the headphones and right. the billion of viewers and online. So, and he said he's sweet and everybody loves me. And he says I'm wearing a different kind of mask. So I'm gonna go with Marshmallow. Oh, I still like that. Go Audience likes it. it. How can Rob. Marshmallow unveil his famous face when we don't know what he looked like? <laughs> Jenny. All right, so this is how I got where I went, based off of your clues. Troublemaker as a kid, and then you decided to get into skateboarding, according to my imagination, and then you became a multimillionaire, and then you had a TV show called Ridiculousness on MTV. <gasps> I think it's Rob Deerdick. I wanted to go with uh, uh, Deerdick too, but the, the thing that keeps throwing me from the clue package is performs in front of millions, and Rob's also not that tall, so I'm just gonna throw another uh, DJ out there who likes to wear uh, bulbous heads. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Dead Mouse. Oh, Dead hey! Mouse! Oh, that's a good one, dude. That's a good one. That is a great okay, one. Okay, panel, you made your final guesses. Now yes. let's see if any of you are right. Ice cream, show us your famous face. Superstar and YouTuber oh and personal friend. He knows I'm a fan. He's Ninja. My son is going to love this. People don't know you as a singer, but you're known to kids and gamers and YouTube fans all over the world. What made you want to do the mass Singer other than come mess with me. Absolutely, man. Uh, I just wanted to step outside my comfort zone, man. And uh, my wife and I love the season last year. So, you know, when the opportunity came and presented itself, we're like, yeah, let's just do it. I kind of had an inkling when I saw karate in the, in the package. I was like, that's what I kept saying. What are some of the other clues that the panel and the audience should have picked up on? Uh, streamers, you know, I'm a streamer. Um, yep. Yep. For my performance, uh, the hand clap at the end, the backup dancers, they did like the uh, real quick, uh, and that's like a dance that I do when I win. So. You did an amazing job. I mean, this is not Thank easy. You. Were you scared at all? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I don't sing. Like, you know, I, pr I can like play video games and compete in front of people, but no way, dude. Like, I do not do this. Hey, you did great, man. You did great. You did Thank you, guys. We love you on The Masked Singer, Thank and we guys. also love your 41 million followers <laughs> as well. <laughs> I'll be tweeting out, letting them know to tune in. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, my handle's at Ken Jong. It'd be great if you follow me. And I'll follow you back.